You want to work on flooding a zone? I'm really impressed with South Carolina right here running sort of a naked boot and they flood the zone back to the left side off the split action that you get here. Six is setting down inside. F back's coming across and is going to get into the three man progression here. Quarterback's going to boot. And so what you've got right here is three levels. You've got a guy on the quick out, you've got a guy on the intermediate out, and then you should probably have something that's clear in the corner. All right. I would either think, uh, you know, a straight vert or he's running a post here, but a post works too because the corner runs with the post and now that intermediate out is wide open. I used to love running this. I called this 94 Texas. I always had state names that I, I tagged with a three receiver progression out of trips. But it was always the honey hole because what you do is you influence the flat receiver here because he sees this guy that's coming up, the cloud guy that's right in front of the flat defender right there running with a quick out. He doesn't know that he's got that guy right behind him. So what should happen as a defender, you're teaching your guy that's in the flats. You play depth and work up to that so that you make them throw that quick out so they can't throw the intermediate out. But see, he has no clue that he has no help behind him right here. So you got a three receiver progression. This is a great flood into their zone. I have no clue what that defensive end's doing up top. He must be on some kind of weird blitz right here. I don't even know. I think they might think Jet's coming. I mean, there's no reason why they should be going outside just yet. They got leverage outside. But right here, South Carolina is just running a zone. This is just zone left, and he makes a backside A cut right here. Do you think we got a running back that can hit this hole a little bit better than five can right here? I mean, I'm trying to think what, what's going on here by your – the shade, the zero technique that comes across over to 76. I mean, he just says, oh, I'm done. And just goes to the ground. You know, what the flip? I mean, is that a wrestling move? Did he put him to sleep right there? I'm telling you, there's a lot of plays by Kentucky's defenders that just makes me scratch my head. I'm absolutely wondering. This is a 10-6 to 6 ball game in the third quarter with 10 minutes to go. And we got guys playing defense like this right here. All right. Um, some of them just don't really want to be there, it looks like almost. We need to destroy these guys in the trenches and at the linebacker level because I know we got guys that can make that cut and make people miss. You know, I know these are college kids, Division One SEC players, but they still do things that to me are just not fundamentally sound. 75 is going to block down because what they're running is basically a Q power, uh, Q counter tray right here, and it's just ghost power again. I'm sorry, you got guard and H pulling right here. So it's basically what we just watched Kentucky do, but um, they're going to do it with Q, with a quarterback instead of the F-back. So the F-back influence is going out. But, you know, right here, this inbound line of scrimmage outside 75, he gets a down block. Squeeze the freaking down, dude. Squeeze the guard down. Don't step outside. Not only do you step outside, you step upfield. You create a natural gap just by doing everything wrong right there. Not only do you squeeze, don't squeeze down and take on the kickout block like you should right here, you also leave your linebacker sitting there hanging out to drive for a free tackle or an eight shot right there by your tight end who's coming through because you don't do your job and you run upfield and cause this gash right here. Guys, I don't know. Some of these defenders, I don't know if they're just happy to be here or what they think in this situation. You know, I'm looking at this guy right here, number, it looks like number 90. Uh, let's see if he's even on the depth chart. I don't even, yeah, he is. That's a Trayvon Rikba, uh, red shirt senior. I mean, that's just pitiful. Uh, you squeeze the damn down, you blow up that guard and flathead his ass, and you make a small gap so the tackle can't even fit through to the backer, and then the quarterback has to bounce to where you have run support coming from. But again, just not a very good job right here by that guy. And, you know, I hope that we run a little bit of gap skin because it looks like we could run it, no doubt. Pull this play because, to me, this is where Kentucky's back got broke. They score on the next play after this one. But this is a busted play. And you've seen it many times where Georgia's brought these kind of blitzes and not get home. When you've got to execute a blitz here and you've got free reign, break down, son, and make a tackle right there. You let Sellers extend the play. And now everybody, I don't know what they're doing right here. Again, you've layered the throw. You've got the inside, the follow, and the post, and there goes your corner again chasing the post, not seeing the follow route right behind. Your intermediate flat defender is just sitting down on the on the first uh, transition line there. And Sellers, because he's able to get away from the free blitz, you know, gets an easy throw down the field right here. This is where, to me, Kentucky, I'm sure we can do this in play action off of this as well, but they don't even show this. This is just straight up if you've got a high safety defender it looks like a cover three look right here basically it could be cover one i don't see anybody running no they're running zone right here guys this is just pitch and catch 
This is all day long, number two receiver right over the top of your force defender. You just wait for him to clear. As he clears, you clear him on his outside shoulder. The corner is going to be held by the other receiver out wide, so he can't cover two. And it's just an easy pitch and catch right here. I like that they run two guys right over the top of one another to influence the flat defender right there. There is nobody for that guy behind it. Plenty of all day long. We used to call this 68 um, out of our two receiver set out of ace, but it's basically when you've got two high safeties, it's hard to run. But one high safety, this is an all day long. He could throw it to either side out of doubles, but I think we got trips right here to one side, to the side that he's looking at right here. But all you do is just throw it right as he passes that whole defender, and it's just an easy pitch and catch touchdown South Carolina.